Hi everybody, welcome to Grandpa Ken's Reading Time. You kiddos are so special. I read each time, we have fun, we have fun reading. And reading is fun. We also have magic hat surprises. We have all kinds of things that will make it interesting and fun for you. So check with your grown-ups, make sure it's okay, but we're on YouTube, and then you can read any of the books you'd like in the library with me doing it. And you'll find, I kind of like surprises, and, and, and costumes and visitors. So get ready, we're gonna have fun. Today, I'm gonna to read you the Pirate Pups. Are the mateys? It's from the Paw Patrol, one of my favorite series. We'll read a lot of the Paw, Paw Patrol in the library. You ready? Get comfortable. Get where you can have fun and watch. One day, while exploring the cliffs above Adventure Bay, Captain Turrot slipped and fell down a dark hole. At the bottom, he discovered an old pirate hideout. He was stuck in the creepy cavern, but he knew he, who could help him. He could call the Paw Patrol. See, he's down there. Look at he's way down in there. Oh, he's scared. Ryder called the Paw Patrol to the lookout and told them about Captain Turbot. He's stuck in a cavern filled with pirate stuff, and he thinks it, it might be the height of the legendary Captain Blackfur. Ryder said, No one knows what he looked like or what happened to his treasure. Ryder needed Chase and Rubble for the rescue, but he told the rest of the pups to be ready just in case. Rubble was excited. He really wanted to be a pirate. See, there's the Paw Patrol. Yeah, they're really good guys. Ryder, Chase, and Rubble raced to the cliffs and found the hole. Chase, Ryder said, I need your winch hooked to the lower me into the cave. Chase is on the case. He pulled the hook over and the rider locked it into his safety belt. Gotta be safe at all times. That's what the pups say. Chase, Chase carefully lowered rider into the dark hole. You think that would be scary? Going down into a dark hole? I think so. I think I would be scared. The pups joined Ryder and Captain Turbo down below. Using Chase's spotlight, they found cool pirate stuff. A spyglass, a flag, and a real pirate hat. Arr, like me hat is. Ryder put the hat on Rubble's head. Arr, said Rubble, shiver me timbers. Chase sniffed the air. I smell seawater, he said. He followed the scent and discovered a secret passageway. But it was blocked by rocks. There must be a way to the beach, said Ryder. Stand back, landlubbers, said Rubbles, as he cleared the way with his digger. Boy, they're so good to have, aren't they? They're the Paw Patrol is really good. Ryder and the pups followed the passage to a beach. They found an old bottle with part of a map inside. It's a pirate treasure map, Rubble asked. Could be, said Ryder. We need all paws on deck to solve this mystery. Ryder called the rest of the pups to the beach, and they told them the map had been torn into three pieces. There's a clue to be where we'll find the next piece, he said. The part of the map that you seek hides in the big parrot's peak in the big parrot's beak. How is that possible? I'm interested. The pups thought about the clue. Suddenly, Rocky said, those boulders in the top of Jake's mountain kind of look like a parrot. Let's check it out, Chase replied. The team hurried to the rocks that looked like a giant parrot. Sky flew up and found a bottle in its beak. Another piece of the map was found. See? It's way at the top of Parrot Mountain. Rocky tapped the pieces together, and Ryder read the next clue. 
From atop Pirate Rock, look forward towards the sea. A clue hides in the hollow of a very big tree. If we can solve that clue, writer said, we should find Black Fur's treasure. Chase thought from a, the biggest trees around are in the Little Hootie's forest. Good thinking, writer exclaimed. There's that word, exclaimed. That means you really make sure somebody heard it. He exclaimed it. The forest was filled with lots of big trees, so Chase asked Little Hootie if he had been seen an old bottle in any of the branches. He had. Little Hootie fluttered up to a hole high in a tree. Marshall drove his fire truck to the base of the tree, extended the ladder, and climbed up. Little Hootie was right. He said he took down a bottle that contained the last piece of the map. See, there's Hootie up on the... Yeah, it's up on the ladder. Rocky ta taped the pieces together. They now had the whole map. Ryder read the final clue. Walk 20 paces from the tree towards setting sun and rising sea. Right, Ryder turned to face the sun and the sea, and he started walking. From the edge of the cliff, Ryder and the pups saw something amazing through the fog. Excuse me. What do you think they would see through the fog? I don't know. Let's see. It was an old pirate ship next to deserted island. Do you think it's Captain Black Fur's ship? Bubble asked. The Paw Patrol worked together to pull the ship onto the beach. News of the fur of the find spread through the Venture Bay. Mayor Goodway and her pet chicken, Chicka Lady came to see the exciting discovery. See her chicken, isn't that silly? She's got a pet chicken she takes everywhere. On board, Ryder, Captain Turbot, and the pups found an old treasure chest. Inside were coins, jewels, a gold bone, and even a fancy dog bowl. You know, you know the pirate knew what he was getting. Why would a pirate captain have a dog bowl? Marshall asked. Then digging through the treasure, Find Ryder found an old picture of Captain Blackfoot. Say, look at all the treasure. Ooh. Captain Blackfoot was a pirate pup. He looks just like me, except with a black fur beard, Rubble explained. Exclaimed again. Oh, exclaimed, exclaimed. The team let out a mighty R. Three cheers for the pirate pups of the Paw Patrol. Ah, cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. And that's the pirates. We've got a whole bunch of other pup, Paw Patrols, and they're going to be fun, and they're going to be enjoyable. But most of all, you can sit in front of our channel at YouTube and just see all kinds of books. They'll all be labored by age, how long they are, no books will be longer than 15 minutes, but we'll have a lot and we'll have fun. So please join us at YouTube. I'm Grandpa Ken, and we're going to have a lot of fun.